Memorial Day is the unofficial start to summer and millions are expected to head out of town for the long weekend. WDRB's Grace Haba shares the travel tips you should keep in mind. People all around Kentuckyana are getting ready for a busy holiday travel weekend. And for a lot of folks, that means topping off the tank. But when it comes to your wallet, where you stop to fill up could make all the difference. More than 42 million Americans will be traveling 50 miles or more from home this weekend. So it's going to be crowded. One family who has already experienced delays be fun for a road trip. The ride outs passing through Louisville on their way further south. There's a lot of uh, road work being done. Especially the between, he, between here and going up towards Indianapolis. They're one of many families making a trip out of town for what AAA is projecting to be the third busiest Memorial Day weekend since 2000. AAA expects to rescue 480,000 people by the side of the road this Memorial Day weekend. The three top reasons that we get calls are flat tires, lockouts, and dead batteries. And it's going to be an expensive few days. According to AAA, the national average for a gallon of gas is just over $3.50. But Jefferson is among the many Kentucky counties sitting above that at $3.75. For those of you traveling by air, Pack your patience. Louisville's airport is expecting a new holiday record. Airline capacity is up 33% compared to 2022, with more than 53,000 departing seats scheduled between Thursday and Tuesday. To keep things running smoothly, airport officials say to know which parking lots are full, arrive two hours before your departure time, and enroll in TSA PreCheck. The days of being able to get to SDF an hour in advance, get parked, checked in, and through security into your gate, just are no longer the case. The two busiest days for air travel are projected to be Friday and Monday, with the heaviest road traffic expected between 3 and 6 p.m. on Friday. With photojournalist Zebanique Petty's Grace Haba, WDRB News.